In this video, we are going to solve for the final temperature of this process using Relic Kuang's equation of state. The problem says methane at 9 megapascals and 300 degrees Celsius is heated at constant pressure until its volume has increased by 60%. Determine the final temperature using Relic Kuang's equation of state. Alrighty, this problem has two states. State 1 is before it was heated at constant pressure, and then state 2 is when it was, when after it was heated at constant pressure. So let's go ahead and write down what we know. We know that our substance is a methane. Great. We know that in state 1, the pressure is in megapascals or 9 megapascals and the temperature was 300 degrees celsius and in kelvin that's 573.15 kelvin in our second state we're told that it was heated at constant pressure so we know that p2 is equal to p1 so p2 is 9 megapascals, the same as it was in P1. We are trying to find the final temperature. We're not given V2 or V1. However, we know that V2 is equal to 1.6 times the V1 because it says that its volume has increased by 60% in the second state. So in order to solve for T2, first, in our plan, we have to solve for V1 using Relic Kuang's equation of state. Our second step is solve for v2 using star equation and then our third step will be solve for t2 using relic quangs already in order to solve for relic quangs we're going to need our critical temperature our critical pressure and our critical z value these are all tabulated numbers you can find them in the back of your textbook or if you don't have a textbook or if your textbook doesn't have these numbers you can look them up on google by just searching up what's the critical temperature of methane or what's the critical z value of methane they should be if not the same at least very similar to the values that i have at the back of my textbook which are these After I'm done with that, I'm going to have to decide what my R value is going to be because my relic Kuang equation of state is P equals RT over molar volume minus B prime minus A prime over the square root of temperature times molar volume times molar volume plus B prime. My R value will depend based on the units that we have. We have Kelvin and both our temperature initial and our critical temperature. And the other set of units that we have are megapascals and bar. We need those to match in order to start solving. I'm going to go ahead and keep everything in bar. So I'm going to go and go ahead and convert 9 megapascals into bar. And then I'm going to look for an R value that has pressure in bar and volume or temperature in Kelvin. So I'm going to, I'm going to look through here. This is in my textbook. I'm not going to use my first R value because it's atmospheres. Neither of my second one, or this one, or that one. Pascal's, nope. Kilopascals, 
no. Finally, bar, and then we have Kelvin. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. You can use whatever R value as long as your units match. So I'm going to go ahead and use that one. I'm going to go and I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it and also the units so that I can keep myself as organized as possible. My R value is 83.14 and the units are centimeters cubed times bar over gram mole Kelvin. Great. I think I have all the parts to start solving for using relic quangs. In order to solve for relic quang, or to solve for A prime and B prime, you're gonna need your critical volume. Your critical volume equation or formula is this one, 0.4278 over critical Z value times, no, just kidding, that's not it, just kidding. My critical volume formula is R times TC, ZC over PC. After plugging everything in, you get 83.14 times 190.6, because that's my critical temperature, times 0.286, my critical Z value, divided, my, my, divided by my critical pressure, which is 46. After plugging it into your calculator, you get that your critical volume is 98.5238. Again, I don't really care about units because I already figured out what my units should be at the beginning by comparing it to my R value and then converting everything to the units that I want already. So we continue. My A prime formula is as follows. 0.4278 divided by ZC times R, VC, TC over, or, and the exponent for it, the exponent for it is three divided by two. Plug in everything that you know, 0.4278 divided by critical Z value, 0.286 times our R value, times our critical volume that we just found times our critical temperature, 190.6, raised to the three over two. After doing all of that and plugging, in it, plugging it into a calculator, you get this big number here. That's great. Our B prime formula is 0 0.0867 over ZCVC. We plug everything in. My Z, my critical Z value is 0 0.286. My critical volume is 98.5238. After plugging it into a calculator, we get 29.8672. Great. Now I plug everything into my actual Rolet Kwong equation of state. And we're, we're solving for V1, that's state 1. So my pressure in my first state is 90. And remember, we're going to use the 90 bar because that's what matches our R value. And then my R value is 83.14. My temperature is 573.15 divided by my volar volume minus... B prime, which was 29.8672, minus A prime, which was this big number. Divided by the square root of the temperature, which is 573.15, times the molar volume, times the molar volume, plus 29. 0.8672 and you can use you know algebra or you can use the solve function in your calculator and you'll get that the molar volume for the first state 
is 534.28944 centimeters cubed per gram mole. We know in centimeters cubed per gram mole because molar volume is volume over moles. And the units for volume in our R constant, or R value, is centimeters cubed. And our units for moles is gram moles. So that's why we chose those. We're not done yet. We have to solve. We did the first step. Now we have to do the second step, which is solve for V2 using our star equation. So V2 is equal to 1.6 times 534.28944. That will give us 854.8631 centimeters cubed per gram mole. We're almost done. Now what's left to do is find T2. And we're all able to so solve for T2 using relic quangs because now we have pressure now we have the, we had pressure, but now we also have our molar volume for state two. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite my relic Wong equation of state so that we can start solving or seeing which pieces we are missing. So my relic Wong equation of state, same thing as the first one. It looks like this. Minus e prime. Just the same thing. But now we're going to solve for the temperature in state 2. So we're looking for T. We have that the pressure is equal to 90 bar, right? Because in state 2, it's still 90 bar. And we have that our molar volume is equal to... We're looking at state 2, right? So our molar volume in state 2 is 854.8631. So that's great. Everything stays the same. Our R value stays the same. Same units for that R value, which is centimeters cubed times bar over gram mole Kelvin, like that. Everything, TC, PC values all stay the same. So in order to solve, we need also, we need to find our critical volume. Critical volume equation is R times TC times ZC over PC. Again, exactly the same thing we did for the first part, right? R value is the same. TC volume is the same. ZC and PC are also the same because, again, it's the same substance. So instead of plugging everything in again, we know that our critical volume is going to be equal to 98.5238, the same as it was in our first state because it's the same substance. For our A prime, our formula is point. 4278 over ZC times R VC TC raised to the 3 over 2. Again, it's the same thing as our first time we solved for A prime. Same R value, same critical volumes. So I know that my A prime for state 2 is the same as it was for state 1. So 3224113080. 0.8132 and I know that my B prime as well since the formula for B prime is 0 0.0867 over ZC times VC which is the same thing as my first B prime so B prime is going to be equal to 29 0.8672. We plug it into our relic Kong equation of state finally. So my P2, 90 bar, times 83.14. However, this time we're solving for temperature. Divided by our molar volume, which in state 2 is 
0.8631, I'm just going to leave it like that, minus 29.8672, which is our B prime, minus A prime, which is 322411301.8137. Divided by square root of temperature, which we're trying to find, times our molar volume, molar in our molar volume in state two, is 854.86. I'm just rounding. Plus our B prime, which is 29.8672. Again, you can find out what temperature is using algebra or you can just do it by using your solve function on your temperature on your temperature on your calculator and after plugging in plugging it into your calculator you get that temperature is equal to 907.10895 or i'm just going to round and say that my final temperature is 907.109 kelvin And that is it for this video. If, and also this is it for, this is gonna be my last example for Relic Huang. My next video should be about how to use Lee Kessler to solve for pressure, volume, temperature, and um, things of that nature. So make sure you take a look at my next video.